Lexington Podiatry, and we here we have this nice young man who stepped on the nail about two weeks ago, correct? Correct. Um, he's had a tetanus shot at this point. He's been on antibiotics, but now he's getting this little area on the bottom of his foot. You can see where the nail went in, and it's also getting this abscess or this pocket of gunk underneath there. It's making it pretty difficult for him to walk, so we're going to fix that. At this point, I've numbed him up with about 12 cc's of numbing medicine. Once everything is in there, it makes it very difficult to get it numb, so I always put extra. I've already tested him, and he says he can't really feel the sharpness. So we're going to start. We're going to see if we can shave a little bit and hope that we don't get squirted. So far, so good. But it's definitely scary. I'm just going to take a little bit more. It's so funny. I always do these things when I have on a white shirt. So there is pus that comes out. Do we have a swab up there, ladies? Well, that was like a little volcano. We're gonna. S <laughs> it's the commentary that makes it the best. We're gonna swab it in just a second. So sorry, I thought we had one out here. It's definitely the gold standard to do a deep swab. So as this stuff starts coming out, it did come from deep inside his foot. Um, he is on Keflex, so we want to make sure that the antibiotic he's currently on will cover the bacteria that's in there. So that's what the swab will tell us. Okay, let's see if we can squirt some of that gunk out of there. That will give us plenty to send off and make sure we get a good diagnosis. There you go. That should be good for the video, right? <laughs> Tell him to smile for the camera. <laughs> Get that piece of skin off. That would make this so much better. Oh, look at that nice little hole. So he hasn't screamed at me yet, which is a good thing because usually this hurts. There's so much pressure that builds up in there. That's usually what causes the issues. This makes a scream for him. Yeah, he may scream. We're gonna cut away some of this skin because I don't wanna give any of this drainage a place to hide. And then I'm gonna use a tool to check the surrounding area and see how deep it is and kind of where it goes. Sometimes it can burrow a hole or a pathway all the way into his foot. So we don't want that to happen. That's why it's important. The quicker we can release this, the better off we are. Somebody is very concerned about him because they keep calling him <laughs> and he keeps ignoring it. It looks discolored over here. So I'm concerned about a secondary pocket over there. It doesn't appear to connect to this one, so I will check it. And just you make sure. You stop. You just tell her, okay? Okay. Nothing else in there. So this one looks really, really good, and it doesn't seem to really go anywhere. So that's a good thing. I'm gonna shave down over here. And just make sure. Oh, there's more. It only poked you in one spot. I'm kind of shocked that those two places didn't communicate, but they didn't. You good? Yeah. I don't believe you. <laughs> yeah, I'm almost done. It will feel much better afterwards. Yes. And you are diabetic, correct? Yes. Okay. Do you know what your last day one C was? Not good. Not good? <laughs> <laughs> The most honest person we'll see today. Okay, honey, I may be finished. Okay. So, there we go. I think I'm good with that. None of these go anywhere. So, here's what we're going to do. 
We're gonna apply some betadine today. We're gonna get you a collagen-based powder to pack in there every day that will absorb this drainage and we're gonna be able to heal this up really, really quickly. Um, I'm gonna put you into a boot to let you walk around to keep pressure off of this. Every time you step on there, it's gonna constantly irritate this area and <laughs> you're okay. Um, keep it from closing. So I'm gonna put um, put you in a boot. We're gonna see you back in a week to check on it, okay? okay? I should have your culture results back before then. Thank you.